Napping is a female thing. It's gay as hell for a man to take a nap. Okay, you, uh, clearly didn't have a grandfather, I guess. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Gatekeeping imagination. <laughs> Do not get me wrong. This is actually a pretty cute way of looking at it, I suppose. It kind of reminds me of that old Lego advertisement uh, that uses the silhouettes to show a piece of Lego and then the shadow is like a ship or something. I, I, look, I know what they're saying. It's actually not the worst interpretation of this message I have seen. I will admit, as someone that has spent days sitting in front of a TV doing absolutely nothing, it can be hard to break that cycle, blah, 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 blah. That's not the point. The point is, no, watching TV is not evil. Playing on your computer is not evil. Using your phone is not evil. It's not inherently bad. None of this is going to destroy your brain or ruin your creativity. That's not how this works, okay? We're all different, so whether or not you read, whether or not you watch TV, don't you worry. You can still be plenty creative. We have lost the right to say partner. Heterosexual people using the term partner to describe their significant other is just, I don't care what your goddamn opinion is. I'm not heterosexual, but you do not get to call me cringe for using a generic term that, as far as I know, was not coined by people like yourself. You didn't invent that term. You don't have a right to tell people who are straight not to use it. I do not understand. I can probably understand the other side of it. I can see where you're coming from, but you got to chill out, man. OK, I, I personally, I guess anecdotally, do not feel like anyone's encroaching upon my safe spaces or otherwise if they use the term partner and they're not gay or lesbian or trans or anything like that, okay? It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> the term is supposed to be usable for everyone as far as I was made aware. Can gatekeeping be good? This is how real men shoot animals. Yeah, absolutely. Don't they want more sales? New band t-shirts, $18. Disclaimer, must name at least three songs from the band to purchase. If this is actually something that you, running an independent business, are enforcing, you're an idiot. I'm just saying. It might seem cute at first, but if there are five people that come in and want to buy an $18 shirt and you turn four of them away because they can't name three songs from the band, you're a dumbass as far as owning a business is concerned, right? You want to make some money, you want to move inventory, you want to sell stuff. Gatekeeping the products you sell is incredibly stupid. Gatekeeping desk setup. Men be fine as hell and then boom! Rainbow light up keyboard and two monitors. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. She's got a point. <laughs> <laughs> obviously not, obviously actually not, grow up, everyone gets to have a hobby, good lord. Someone I know shared this. Apparently if you didn't play football, you didn't have a childhood. Okay, football hunting grounds. If you wasn't covered in mud on a cold Sunday morning, you didn't have a childhood. If you know, you know. That is a phrase that I think needs to be retired forever. There's something so weird in my mind about it now. It's innocent enough. If you know, you know. Like, I get it. It's not really harmful in any way. It's not offensive in any way. At least not in a way that I can think of. But there's something about it, man. If you know, you know. Yeah, I played soccer as a kid. Sorry, football. I played football as a kid, not American football. Soccer. Sorry, I know that if I say soccer, half of you will get really weird. And if I say football, the other half will get really weird because where I live, football is football, damn it! It's not soccer! But yeah, I played it. Didn't really like it. My sports are more badminton and tennis, if I'm being honest with you. Gatekeeping your birth year. For the poser wannabe 90s kids. All right, fake. 90s kid starter pack. People born in 1993 plus pretending remember December 31, 1999. Watch this, not this. All right, well, I was born in 1996. I also watched Rugrats, Hey Arnold, Pokemon, and a little bit of Dragon Ball, even though I don't really like it. I watched all of this crap. Quit gatekeeping being born, please. Uh, I do not call myself a 90s kid, by the way. I was, again, born in 96. I did not experience the 90s in full. My earliest memory is the year 2001, as far back as my mind can really go. So, yeah, I would never consider myself a 90s kid. But even if I did, grow up. Who gives a shit? Gatekeeping anime 
updated. Oh no, not anime. How to spot an anime tourist or a fake anime fan slash fake otaku. Wow. Note, I added some interesting touches to this original image. How to spot an anime tourist. <clears throat> All right, let's figure out what constitutes an anime tourist. Only watches Naruto, One Piece, Dragon Ball, and other common anime shows. Wow. <laughs> I watch the popular ones, so I'm fake. Likes anime because it's trendy. Has it ever really truly been trendy outside of the groups of people that already watch anime? Will join the anime fandom for the sake of policing others in the community. Berates you for liking something they don't like. Pronouns in but Wow. Oh, I, I see. I see. Thinks fan service is sexist and drawings equate to real life issues. Hey, so what are these flags and symbols here for? What exactly are you trying to say? Oh, okay, sorry, I just noticed the profile photo. You know what? Why don't you put the word woke every other word in this post and it might make you feel better. Apparently at a certain age, your parents are not allowed to celebrate your birthday anymore. My parents couldn't afford to buy me a fancy cake this year, so after a long day of work, my dad came home and made me one. Lo quiero mucho. The fact that at age 20, you're still having your parents buy you a birthday cake. Uh, but they didn't buy him a birthday cake. His dad made him one. He just said that. His parents, you know what? It must suck. This person's parents love them enough to continue to do this at this point in their life. They love them so much. They love him so much. It just, wow. Wow. I cannot believe that. <laughs> you are envious, my friend. British blizzards aren't real blizzards. British blizzards ain't got nothing on America. <laughs> okay. Who, who asked? Who, who gives a crap, dude? I actually did see the thumbnail for this video and I would like to watch it just to see if it does go past the cover. I mean, they say never judge a book by its cover, but the entire point of the cover is for you to make a snap judgment to see if you would like to pick it up and maybe read the blurb on the back. Same thing with a thumbnail and a title on YouTube. Those are there to get you interested, pull you into the subject matter, and I haven't watched the video yet, but judging by this, that's kind of weird to make the comparison. How dare you ask a sub that helps identify cars to help identify a car? Only people who already know what all the cars are, are welcome here. For the life of me, I could not figure out what car this is. You have no business on this sub if you don't know what that is. Why would you even care what any vehicle was if you couldn't identify the most famous vehicle ever? Okay, I am not really a car guy. I mean, okay, I am a car guy, but I like boring, regular, mass-produced cars, okay? I don't know what this car is, but if I had to hazard a guess, it's, uh, what? Is it Nissan Skyline GTR or whatever? I mean, I've seen Skylines a lot, and I know that this photograph was taken in Colorado Springs right outside of the Briargate Shopping Center. So I've seen the guy before, and I'm pretty sure that's what it is. That's why I might actually know. But come on, I don't care what the car is. The subreddit was made for a reason. Just because you think you're so hot, you're real hot shit, does not mean you get to tell somebody else they don't belong here. Okay? That's weird as hell, bro. Unsure if this belongs here. Homeless Chicago man suffering from hypothermia makes miraculous recovery after someone from Wisconsin informs him <laughs> it's actually much colder where I'm from. It doesn't. It's obviously a joke. It does. It's obviously a joke about gatekeeping. Can you read? Gatekeeping fatherhood. Oh, this ought to be good. Oh, this one where they called him creepy because he's doing a very normal thing that's recommended for fathers and mothers to do. Yeah, don't don't do that to dads. Now, look, again, I, as I said before, I'm not really a fan of this man in particular, but what he is doing here is a good thing. You know, all the stories about him and whatnot, he was willing to show this photo of him doing a very normal, basic thing for his newborn child. And he's happy about it, looks giddy as hell, and that's fantastic. Gatekeeping depression? Is it bad that I don't have any sympathy for people who were experiencing depression for the first time in their life? For context, I've been dealing with depression since I was a child. So when someone's having their first depressive moment in their late 20s, it's difficulty for me to truly empathize with them. Call me a hater, I guess, but I'm like, girl, okay, call a hotline. People have chronic mental illness. Uh, yeah. Some people do have chronic mental illness. I'm one of them. 
I've been manically depressed for the last, ooh god, I want to say 16, 17 years. Some days it's better, some days it's significantly worse, but I would never in my wildest dreams be this mean to somebody else over the fact that they are just now experiencing something that I've been experiencing for a long time. That's weird, okay? You're not cooler because you've had depression for longer. You are not more valid because you've been experiencing it for longer. That's not how this works. You need to sort out your shit. And, you know, honestly, there's not much more I can say. You just need to sort that out. Gatekeeper keeping feminism. Reminder that feminism is for women only. And also feminism is for women. What? I'm confused. Gatekeeping having fun. Mad night out. Is that bi wait, bingo? What? You call bingo a mad night? LMAO, my mad night is three fights with people getting stabbed, getting searched by cops, and then getting drunk and partying and going home to a girl. You have literally never done a single one of the things that you listed, but go off, okay? Absolutely go off, you dork-ass loser. Who the hell says that? Wow. You had a good night out? You're calling it mad? Well, I get stabbed every weekend. I get my ass kicked every weekend. And then I, 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 get, I get searched by the police every weekend. And you know what I also do every weekend? I go home and my wife talks to me about getting divorced. Gatekeeping genders. Thank you, Jesus. Trump will not allow this. Praise God. Who's with me? Men should look like men. Women should look like women. These are both transgenders? What? I mean, I know what you mean, but it's still just transgenders? What the f*** are you talking about? But yeah, this is a hilarious post. I've seen it more than once in my life. Gatekeeping immigration while being an immigrant. Rally in Japan against immigration. Need this in Canada. I left, but it's getting ridiculous, I hear. <laughs> Immigrants are bad, says the immigrant in another country. Yeah, that sh just drives me bonkers. Oh, we gotta get rid of immigration. I'm Canadian and I immigrated to a different country, but these people... We know what you really mean, pal. We're not stupid. I also know how to use Morse code. Roast me for that? This vehicle is equipped with the Millennial Anti-Theft Device. I know that I've gone on again and again about driving a manual, driving a stick shift, whatever the hell you want to call it. If you prefer it, awesome. I totally understand how it would be more fun to drive a manual car once you get used to it. But as someone who sees cars as a depreciating asset or money pits, I have zero respect for making it more fun in the long run for me personally. I just want the vehicle to last a long time, to get me where I need to go, so on and so forth, A to B, if you will. Because unfortunately I live in a country where public transit is the worst in the world, okay? A horse and buggy is better than waiting for a bus in Colorado Springs. So I have to have a car, okay? My dream has always been, give me a train! Give me a train, goddammit! Found one! Oh, God. How to tell apart posers from real heads. An easy guide. Okay, guys, let's see what the posers are all about. LMAO, Metallica, and Slipknot suck so much. Okay, I don't think there's a poser on planet Earth that would talk Metallica, okay? <laughs> Nowhere in the world are you gonna find a poser that doesn't like Metallica. All right. Still orders all their merch online. Actually hopes someone talks to them because of their shirts. I'm so glad I got into metal. It's really enriched my life. Did you know that metal actually has more in common with classical than pop? Have you heard of Bolt Thrower? They are peak! All right, now let's see what real metalheads are all about. Now I grew up with a real metalhead as my best friend, so let's see if this is accurate. <clears throat> Hasn't actually enjoyed listening to a new metal album in years. Eh. I mainly go to shows to catch up with my friends and because I like the ambiance. What? Indie folk is actually pretty good. Yeah, but indie folk? Absolutely. Not just indie folk, though. All of them! Wanna try my homebrew mead? Listens to their old favorites because it reminds them of the excitement they once felt. Also, I, I don't know. I'm not a metalhead, but uh, can we stop doing the whole posers thing? Can, can you stop? All right. Born in 89, millennial, couldn't tell you who this cat is. You're not a millennial unless you're still processing the pain of losing Thomas J. <laughs> oh, I... wait a minute. 
Wasn't that the character from the movie My Girl in the early 90s? I, I, I can't remember why he died. Um, was it an allergic reaction thing? I don't know, it's just been a while, but I remember seeing this movie and going, Whoa! What? Peak gatekeeping over here. Omni-Man moment. I bet you didn't even read the original comics. <laughs> a bit tired of new fans who act like they know Invincible, but they truly don't. Ma'am, those downvotes, though, they're really making you look like a nerd. Look, there's nothing wrong with being a nerd, but there is something very wrong with being this type of nerd. Gatekeeping real art. Oh, yeah? Different atmospheres. Which one is your favorite? That's a really low resolution image. This is digital? Grab a real pencil and start doing real art, man. Shut up. If you can't describe your job in three words, you have a bullshit job. All right, well, let's see. Bullshit job is I'm a SAAS based fintech sales analyst. What? I develop and maintain automated capabilities. I create systems to record blockchain data. I catch fish. Gatekeeping success. Most men who think about the Roman Empire do not think about their place within the Empire. <laughs> I would be a war general, likely to die as ruler. I know you like to think the same, but your life proves you'd be a peasant or slave. All of you are lazy, weak, and stupid. Andrew, uh, man, buddy, my guy, my cuddly little teddy bear, darling baby buggy bumper boo. You are not that guy. You have never been that guy. You are never going to be that guy. I think we can all agree on that, <laughs> okay? So please, fade away and never speak the f again. Gatekeeping childhood trauma. Bow down to the enemy. Avoid danger at all costs. People who had traumatizing childhood experiences. Oh, you think you can hurt my feelings? I grew up in a very abusive environment because my parents used to slap me lightly on the face every single night. And my parents yell at me for getting 10 marks out of 100 on my exam. You cannot even begin to fathom how bad my childhood is. I've grown so much that your weak arguments are useless against me. So come at me, brother. Show me what you've got. People who actually had traumatizing childhood experiences. I'm sorry, you were actually right. Please don't start an argument. Okay, don't ever do this. Don't ever do this. Again, you're not cooler or more unique or more valid because you might have had something worse. Okay? A a trauma is trauma. I've mentioned the Kevin Smith thing so many times now I'm not going to do it again, but I do still recommend it. Hand position gatekeeping? Me playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 1998. This is the best game ever! Me playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild today. This is the best game ever. <laughs> First off, she's using the Joy-Con grip, so her statement is invalid. Second, as much as I enjoyed Breath of the Wild, in terms of story and swordplay, it is the worst 3D Zelda game to date. <laughs> wow, you are alone in that sentiment, pal. Like, I love this game, but every weapon type feels exactly the same. Wow, a sword feels like a sword? A stick feels like a stick? They feel similar? Okay. The lack of auto-targeting is a staple in the Zelda universe, and the story? <laughs> well, I don't need to go into detail on that one. Yeah, you do. You know what? If you're gonna take the time to make a comment this dumb, you do. You do need to go into detail on that one. Okay? And what's wrong with the Joy-Con grip? Well, no, seriously, what's wrong with it? Someone using the console as is designed because they want to? Hmm, weird. Yeah, people that gatekeep anything annoy me, but for some strange reason I get really mad about people that gatekeep gaming. Uh, you know, gaming is the biggest entertainment industry that has ever been, and hopefully continues to be because of how amazing it is in every facet of its creation, from the writing all the way to the voice acting and the coding, the animating, everything. It's amazing the way it all comes together. And I just can't get over people that say things like, wow, you play on easy? <laughs> Try playing on the hardest difficulty so that you get more mad and pissy and stupid as time goes on and you grow to resent the game. No, 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 no. I want to play the game however the hell I want to play the game. And you can seethe and consider it invalid all you want. I'm a grown-ass man. You're a dork-ass loser. 